The Chief Minister issued advice yesterday telling businesses to close today if they could. Many have taken on board that advice, but still we have seen customers running around town and trying to buy those last minute essentials. But all of that, as from tonight at midnight, will change. In an emergency parliament session last week, the government said it will increase borrowing in order to assist businesses, proposing up to half a billion pounds if necessary. The chief minister said in the coming days there would be measures for employer and employee protection, including funding. There will also be a hotel industry package which will enable them to continue trading and employing staff. But until then, where does this leave the many businesses closing shop today? Extremely depressed. Um, 30 years of hard work and nobody knows quite what the future holds, so we're all... Uh, crossing our fingers that this will pass before too long and hoping for some help from uh, from government wherever possible. There's such long, long days with no, no customers basically. Uh, a couple of people collecting older orders but very few, uh, if anything, new. Very sad today because I can't even hug my girls on the end of the day and I cannot even hug my clients on the end of the day. So it's a really sad day today for us, all of us. We all cry today in the morning. We still are very emotional and really crying all the time. We can't even, what do we say to our clients? Just to hope to actually see them when that all's all over because we are told that 80% of our nation will probably get the illness anyway. Therefore, a lot of our clients are older, so they are in the very high risk group. So we are hoping to see them after this all is finished. We are feeling really sad that we have to close for, we don't know, it can be 15 days, it can be for a month and we don't know. So it's a really stressful situation. Um, we're lucky enough to be in a position where we could move our services online, which has been great. We've had brilliant feedback so far, but many businesses aren't in this position. And even then we have experienced quite a few dropouts. It's a bit sad because uh, I have to close shop. But uh, on the bright side, uh, I am online, so I, I, do, I can hold a service on there. It's going to be hard. Uh, I've only been open for just over a year. So um, whatever profit, if, if any profit I can make, is going to keep me afloat as, uh, as much as I can. At the moment, uh, we are trying to sort out all those people who need to come to Gibraltar and who, who were in United States and, and other countries. Are there many people who are still trying to come back to Gibraltar? Uh, not now. Last week there was um, about 30, 30 something people. I'm feeling um, worried and stressed. I'm worried for my staff, worried for our own, you know, how we're going to pay our overheads. Um, just really, really worried. We're still getting a lot of interest though from people as regards getting things for um, their kids. As they want to keep their kids entertained at home and we're selling a lot of puzzles and we've been selling a lot of arts and crafts and um, people are worried about their kids' birthdays, how they're going to um, get the presents to them and we're going to try our best you know, to deliver to people's doors if they want to contact us via Facebook or via our WhatsApp phone numbers. We, you know, we're there for the community wherever it takes, but we are very, very worried about what's going to happen, as I'm sure all other retailers are. Though the newest measures have certainly changed the way many businesses will operate, there's no doubt the need to close their doors has led to creative ways to carry on in these uncertain times, perhaps some which will last long after The Rock has weathered this storm.